Hi all, welcome back. Today we are going to continue the uh, Big IPF Pipe uh, Lab. So in my last video we have configured the management port of Big IP. So we will configure it further. And once, uh, if you see uh, the Big IP interfaces, uh, actually it's uh, different from like uh, other Cisco products. So the interface starts from E1.1 e1.1 and e1.3 so so first and after that uh, to configure that interface first we need to configure the VLANs so here we don't have any uh, VLAN so we need to create click on create or uh, else you can see interfaces also the interfaces is uninitialized so we will configure these interfaces uh, with the help of VLAN VLAN create so the name for this first I want to configure the interface of E1.1 that is external interface external VLAN connected to external and here is the tag so suppose if you are creating with a VLAN ID so we need to provide it uh, VLAN ID is number here and come to here interface and tagging so we are configuring this e1 slash e1.1 that is external one and tagging here in the sense we have a two types of uh, options here tagged and untagged tagged means trunk port in Cisco terminology and tagged means access port so as of now we will go with the untagged one so in further videos we will configure uh, the tag one as well. So, so <coughs> as of now, we will select an tag one that is access port and click on add. And yeah, uh, if you click on repeat it, it will give a new window to complete other uh, uh, to create other interfaces. If you click on finish, then it will complete the uh, finish. It will completely finish. So I will click on repeat. I want to create a internal one as well. Internal will connect it to internal internal servers. And here the interface is one dot two. Untagged one. Click on add and click on uh, repeat I will create the H interface as well which I have done with that and connected to HA port and interface was uh, 1.1.3 and click on finish so as of now we have created the VLAS so go to the interfaces now you can see the three interfaces are up and running so we have to assign the IP address to these interface for that you need to go to the self IPs so as of now click on create so here it's a external external IP IP address is uh, you can create a 192.168.230.100 and task is 255.255.250 and external VLAN select the VLAN interface and allow select as default click on repeat and internal name as internal IP internal IP is 110.1.1.10 10.1.1.10 10 and netmask is slash 24 select the vlan as internal vlan and allow default and click on repeat and here is the hl link H ip address is i think 172.68.1.1 172.68.1.1 slash is 24 sub netmask and hl vlan Okay, allow default okay click on finish so we have assigned the IP address 
Okay, we have as of now we have configured the VLANs and uh, our cell site base. So now what we need to create is uh, we need to create a nodes for web servers. So click on node create server one and we can mention server one. So we need to mention the IP address is the first IP address is 10.1.1.1 and as of now I will not configure any help monitors so I will keep as it is the uh, default one repeat so server 2 and the IP address is 10.1.1.2 and click on repeat and server 3 and the IP address is 10.1.3 and finish so we have created the server nodes uh, server 1, server 2 and respective IP address so once after that we need to create a pools under means uh, why pool thing means uh, that server will have some services we will later we will add it as in uh, virtual server so for that uh, in create is uh, web pool web pool and we can mention as uh, web server pool yeah, yeah it is so i need to add a list here uh, the server one ip address is 10.1.1 or else you can create instead of creating node earlier you can create a new node here that's not an issue so if we have already created a node list so we select then this node list option and uh, the server port is http that is 80 and uh, http uh, click on add and similarly we will select for 10.1.2 and click on add similarly for 10.1.3 so we have created a web pool and uh, we have added all the all three nodes and click finish so our web pool is ready so now we will create a virtual service create virtual server so you can mention virtual web virtual server web description virtual server for web so type is standard so as of now i will not go with any other uh, option uh, or type so as of now, we will go with the standard source address should be any so we will keep it as blank and destination address is uh, this uh, outside interface here you can mention the outside interface as well as or else you can create any new virtual uh, IP in that range. Why? Because if this, if you provide this uh, external IP address, so if this interface goes down, then um, anyone is connecting from outside, uh, it will become a single uh, point of failure. So, if you want to give outside external IP, that is fine. If you want to give any of this address in that range, that is also fine. So what I can provide is uh, I will go with 192.168.230.150 server port is 80 and SDP. So once after that you come down here and later you can come, uh, select as a default pool. Uh, select this as a web pool and click finish. So our virtual server is ready. So, and I have already uh, opened the uh, connected that external interface that is this uh, external user uh, computer. So I have assigned the IP address. So let me show you that IP address as well. So I have given 192.168.230.1 and uh, 100 as a gateway. And one more thing I have uh, for HTTP 192.168.230.150. You can see the, you can able to see the traffic is went to web server 2. If you refresh it, 
Web Server 3, Web Server 2, Web Server, and I will generate some traffic here. Yeah. So we will go to the big IP, statistics, model statistics, local traffic, by nodes. Okay. So total connections are one, two, two. And this is the bits and packets. So if you see here data format is it will be uh, bits uh, in and out it will be shown uh, shown in uh, kilobytes. If you select this unformat it will show in the uh, round of Okay, before that, I want to show you something. Uh, uh, I have downloaded one uh, kit uh, to generate some traffic. So, you can go to the Google and type kit. So, once after that, okay, once after that, you, you click on this kit option. So, we will get a uh, download 2.331.1 for windows so what this will do is this will generate uh, uh, with this we can generate some multiple uh, not multiple it's a continuous traffic can get flash here so i have one command so it will uh, it will be used to generate the traffic Okay, this will be used for uh, generating the traffic. Okay. I'll just paste it. First, I will clear that it select reset. Okay, so it, all the packets went down. It's everything is showing is zero. So what I will do? I will generate some. This is command hyphen s this is https and this is the ip address of external ip so can generate a 1 to 90 so it will you can see if it is all the by default the round robin will be working as a uh, if you select here so it will if i see go to uh, statistics model statistics local traffic and select as the uh, nodes you can see the total connection cs 30 30 30 30 so it is distributed equally why because uh, the round robin used as a uh, like you know distribution method so i hope this video has been informative for you and i would like to say thank you for watching